In this video, I wanted to show you how to make a night guard using free software, uh, Medit Splints. Again, I just want to reiterate, you don't need a Medit scanner or even need to pay. You can download the software for free and I believe you get 10 gigabytes of cloud storage so that you can use for cases. However, if you need more, I believe it's only a $1 a month US. I just wanted to make a video regarding the software because it's quite powerful, quite useful. This is what we're using to make night guards in our clinic at this time. So basically I have my intraoral scan and I just click on the Medit Splints app. Just make sure it's up to date. And it automatically selects the maxilla base and the mandible base. Uh, you can use others if you'd like, but for the purposes of this, this is what we need. And I hit confirm. I want to make a maxillary night guard. You obviously have the option to make the lower one as well. And then you can use AI creation, which I don't necessarily use. Uh, I like using manual creation just so that you can make minor adjustments if needed. Manual creation allows for just some tweaking of certain areas, which I, I prefer. This just allows you to view your scan data. Because we're not making models or anything like that, there's no real need to trim the data unless it's interfering with the, you know, uh, the, the teeth. I will hit edit and then just hit next. And it automatically aligns finding the midline incisal edge as well as the distal buckle cusp tips of the sixes. And you know, this looks pretty good in terms of alignment, which I'm happy with. Hit next. And this allows you to choose the, the space in between the night guard. As of this video right now, we like to set it at 1.1. This is what we're using for our patients. We don't seem to have any fractures. However, if you do need to uh, increase the you know, thickness of your splint, then you can slide this back and forth. As you can see, as I'm changing the distance of the antagonist, this is between the posterior teeth. The bite opening in uh, in the anterior goes up, you know, I think almost five times as much. So there is a ratio of such there that they have. Like I said, so we like to set it to 1.1. Uh, I will say the scan was taken with the the teeth in full occlusion. However, there are other methods of capturing the bite using a leaf gauge or maybe a Koisty programmer or even cotton rolls. Uh, that people suggest to get the you know proper I guess articulation. However, for the purposes of this example and for us right now, uh, you know this seems to work well, not needing much in terms of adjustments when delivering to the patient. However, uh, you know just so you're aware, there, there are those other options, and you can research those uh, on the web there. So I hit next. And this allows, this arrow here is just telling the passive insertion of the appliance, which I'm happy with. And then we like to set the offset to 0 0.02 just so that it's not too snug. Set the smooth surface to max, angle to 0 0.5 and retention all the way to one. And if you'd like to change the you know path of insertion, you can hit that arrow and kind of see where the undercuts are and such. But in this case, we'll just try and get, you know, set it so we're going straight occlusal to the teeth. And you can even preview what the model will look like. Uh, it just creates the model with all the under undercuts and such where the splint will be manufactured on. So hitting next. And this allows you to uh, adjust the you know the outline of the splint so let's say if I wanted to add some canine retention which some practitioners like to do I'll add just a couple bumps here uh, you can make it a bit more detailed all right so pretty straightforward and if it does error out in terms of when you hit next trying to create the outer surface, you just need to go back and move the dots around a little bit more just in any possible problem areas. Uh, however, in this case, this works well. Uh, we like to have the buccal lingual 
thickness set to two millimeters and again smooth surface all the way max and I'm happy with how that looks hit next and yeah so this is the night guard uh, you know initial setup you can see kind of where the occlusion will be and if you'd like you can using these sculpt tools so one two three and four uh, one is to add two remove three smooth four more if i believe as you kind of grab an area and pull it however uh, four uh, some shortcuts when whoops you are working with the models you can hit uh, command to drag the model around hit option to uh, you know spin it around and shift to and mouse click to move in and out uh, but that's also important when you're in the initial uh, tool um, in initial one where uh, sometimes you have to click this to really spin around the STL file so in this case here and I'm right clicking here just to drag and such uh, some people would like if I would like to add a canine rise to the splint basically I will show my lower teeth and basically hit one brush snake brush size here and then I can add material at this canine area and as well as here as you can see make the and I can hitting option or sorry command or control in Windows and mouse wheel you can change the brush size whereas hitting option and uh, the mouse wheel or alt in Windows changes the brush strength so I wanted to change the brush size a little smaller so then I get more of a point here and oops change the So you can see the bumps that I added add quite the interference where the lower canines are. And to simply get rid of that, then I go to uh, this adapt to it antagonist option, set it to zero so that the antagonist, there's zero distance between the lower canines and this these canine rise bumps here. So I just hit check mark. And what that will do is then relieve those areas and now I have a night guard that has canine rise if you wish to just other options as well you can just use again these tools to smooth out or remove certain areas and light let's say lighten this area or lighten the post here so it's there's a lot of utility to these to this app here and you know it tells you you know exactly um, how much contact is in, in certain areas and such so um, and just hit next and then you have the option to add a label to your night card which I don't think a lot of people do however you know it's nice that they do offer this functionality so for the sake of that let's say you know obviously you don't want it on the tongue side it would be quite annoying for the patient so maybe somewhere on the cheek and then um, yeah it's just make sure the lettering is all in blue otherwise uh, it'll error out and then you hit next and hit save and so as you can see this is how long it took to make a night guard um, just around 10 minutes maybe even quicker uh, without all the explanations what I did want to go over with you is the now preparing it for printing using VooBase, which is a, an invention one of the doctors online had created. So I will export and uncheck everything and all I want is the splint, export and create a folder and export. And uh, yes, I want to see this. So I have the splint, which I will add. So when it comes to printing, if you print completely flat, then 
it will the print time will be you know 51 minutes let's say you add supports uh, print time will be an hour and a half and the issue with that being is that you have all these supports at the bottom of the you know on the occlusal surface which you know you need to remove and then adjust and dial in the occlusion which can take a considerable amount of time for your team member or yourself and the other option would be to then you know on the opposite end of that spectrum is print completely vertical which you know you get fewer supports and uh, fewer on the occlusal However, in this case, what I would recommend is for printing night guards, the recommendation that I'm seeing online is to print at a 45 degree. So this is 90, so you kind of want to go uh, halfway between flat and 90. And uh, th sorry, there are integrity issues, so we just hit fix, let the software deal with that. This VU-based night guard, you can Google it. Um, it's available on a lot of free sites so basically you want to drag this in here as well and add this under so what you do is take this and you generate your support so you just hit generate oops actually no I don't want to do it. generate it all remove remove all and then I want to generate selected just for this night guard and what you need to do is go hit edit supports and delete all these supports that are in the way causing issues uh, you know post processing in terms of polishing and dialing in the occlusion what you want need to do is leave one single support so that it keeps the splint off the print bed And now hit edit supports. Now you click on the boo base here and you can angle it so it's in line with the night guard. And what this allows for is that you take it and you just place it on the you know anterior portion. So when you're looking these extrusions from the VU base are embedded into the anterior portion of the night guard and not really on the occlusal plane. And what you need to make sure is the extrusions don't end up through the intaglio surface, which here they are not, as you can see. And what this allows for is uh, to print the night guard at a 45 degree angle with zero supports on you know the posterior here which makes for a much easier cleanup and leaving the occlusion dialed in and basically it you know takes another you know hour longer so two and a half hours however that's just machine time you just print it leave it and basically yeah from here you can just hit print and uh, with keystone, key splint soft and it takes about four mils of resin to get your night card. So hopefully this video was helpful in terms of showing you how to use this free software to make night guards. And then in terms of post-processing, I would use the candy coating technique that Wally Rennie uh, has so kindly shared with the 3D printing world, uh, which helps get a smoother polished finish with minimal effort and uh, you know that's generally how we uh, make night guards at our clinic thanks and if you find this useful and helpful then please like and subscribe and i'll try and release more videos related to digital dentistry and other tips and tricks thank you